Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black and I am so excited to introduce you today to all of the new stamps and dies in our new collection, Hello Winter. So to start things off, I just have to share with you my personal must-have essentials from this release. And the first is this awesome sentiment set. So this is 30-881 When Snow Falls. You may want to hit pause and just take a look at this. But what I love is that with these sentiments you can use a lot of your holiday and winter stamps and dies for any winter themed card even beyond the new year. Now my next must have essential is this creative die 51-724 viewpoint. Now I really wanted to show you exactly how this die works to create these awesome dimensional scenes like you're looking through the window and you really get that great dimension of the window itself and it's so so easy to do with this die. Now if you're a quilter you may recognize this it's very similar to I believe it's like an attic. Uh, sort of quilt pattern <laughs> um, and so our attic window so this is what the die looks like and if you don't mind I'm gonna sneak in just a little bit of a tutorial in this so I've got my stamped and painted scene and more on those stamps coming soon and I'm just gonna lay this down with sort of those um, dimensional pieces so they're at the bottom of the window so I'm just checking that before I lay it down and I'm just gonna secure this to my scene just using a little bit of washi tape from my stash you could also use a little bit of painters tape too and then run this through the die cutting machine and I'm gonna save the four pieces of the scene now I'm also going to run this through my die cutting machine on just heavyweight white cardstock. And this is what will come out with that. And so you're going to get the white window frame and then these dimensional pieces right here that are just going to take this to the next level and it's so easy to do. So with these I decided here on the bottom I'm going to color these light gray and then the ones that go on the side the longer pieces I'm going to color them in a darker gray. You could paint them, you could cut them, it's just simply from colored cardstock and you don't have to use grays you could use like a light brown and a dark brown or you could make your window a darker color like the window frame and do these in lighter shades you can really play around with the different um, ideas. But I just went simple with a light gray and a darker gray and I colored them all and then I'm going to set them to the side. Now I'm going to take that white window frame and I'm going to glue this onto my card. This is an A2 size card so four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So I'm just putting some liquid glue. I like to use the Tombow Mono Adhesive Glue onto that and I'm going to glue that down onto the card base. Now I like a little extra dimension so you could certainly just do one layer here but I went ahead and I cut this a couple of times from heavyweight cardstock and so I'm actually going to glue those right on top of each other and stack them so it's just even more dimension to this design and it's a really easy way to do it. Like I said you wouldn't have to do this but it is super easy to do. So I am just gluing those down and I'll just add one more layer right on top with liquid glue. So I've stacked three on top and I'm going to just make sure that's all easy to see and then I'll show you here um, the next step. So here is that dimension you get just by stacking those up if you want. You could certainly use this just as is. Have a little critter popping up from the window actually paint your scene right inside of these but if you want to add the dimensional pieces very easy to do so I just put a little bit of glue on the left hand side and the bottom of each window pane and I'm going to glue in a shorter lighter gray piece and then on this side I will glue in the darker gray piece and again just going to Put a little bit of glue right on the inside there and glue those in and I will repeat that for each pane of the window. And then finally the last step will be just to add my scene that I painted and stamped. So I'm just using some double sided tape. You can use whatever adhesives you like best and I'm just putting that onto the back of the panel and then I will adhere that right inside 
the window. Now because this is die cut, everything cuts perfectly and everything perfectly inlays right inside. And it is just so cool, so fun, just a totally different way to use some of your scenic stamps. And if you love scenic stamps, keep watching this video because we have lots of new ones coming. So that is the creative die viewpoint. So here is a look at that finished card, just a little bit of a close-up view there. And then the complete card there. And again, this is the standard A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Now this next die is also on my must-have essentials list. Um, it's 51-717 Border Collection. What I love about this is you can use this all year round. It's very, very versatile. And I just wanted to give you a closer look. This cuts the slim line size, so you get this nice long size. But then you can use these you don't have to use them on slimline cards, and that's what I loved. I love them that you have the option for a slimline card, but then you also can use them, just trim them, and use them on any size card that you like. And I'll give you some examples of that. So this is just a close-up look here at the detail and the variety of designs you get in just this one die set. Again, this is coming out with our winter collection, but you can certainly use all of these any time of year. So here's an example where I've just trimmed down one of those edges and used it um, along the bottom of these panels as an accent so they don't have to be all along the border of a slimline card. Here's one where I turned it to create a hill for the sledding cute pups and more on all these stamps is coming. I layered a couple of them so because it cuts out such a long piece you can trim it and layer them like I've done here. You could use these for snow banks, but you can also use them for clouds too. So those are my three must-have essentials from this. Now let's move on to the scenic stamping. And if you love to stamp scenes and winter scenes, then this is a really great set of stamps here for you. So first here we have 40-811 picture, picturesque and these trees are so great. I love the different sizes that you get. Here's a card where I've stamped them and then just done some very basic watercoloring and a touch of acrylic white paint along some of the branches to create the look of snow. You can also do these for background for cute cards or even more elegant cards. Just doing some tone on tone stamping on this card. You can even turn this and use it as a branch. And we have some great birds. I'll show those in detail for you in just a minute. The next is 40-814 Panoramic. I love, love, love the birds on a wire with this and then that fence and then the um, other little branches. And here's a scene I've created using these stamps. Just some simple masking and watercoloring. And I hope to have some how-to videos coming for you for a couple of these cards. And again, here I've used the scenic stamps to create my scene and then use that awesome die viewpoint to give it some extra dimension and, and just some extra um, fun to the look. Next up is 30-874 Perfectly Potted. Now these trees you can do inside of the pots, which is really fun. You could also use those pots any time of year and like add flowers to them. Here I've done some tone on tone stamping in the background with a masked snowbank and then also stamped one of the trees and the pots and cut them out and pop them up with foam tape for some extra dimension in the front. If you like more of a clean and simple look, this is um, just stamped the tree and the pot and did some very basic watercoloring on those and inking to the background with our zigzag stackers die. And then I also wanted you to see here if you like to do your scenic stamping and you just need something a little extra for the background, I've stamped some of those branches in blue. Now this next stamp set probably could be on my essentials list because I used it a ton. This is 40-813 Delicate Pines and coming up soon are the birds, <laughs> I promise, but this is beautiful, a beautiful perch for the birds. Any kind of winter scene that you're creating, these branches are wonderful for and they're gorgeous, they're easy to stamp, there's a nice combination of them. So you're seeing them here used with the birds. They also make for like very nice light subtle stamping in the background, which you can see here, which I've done around one of our new floral stamps, which I'll show you in just a second. And then also 
like in the card we saw earlier with the viewpoint die, you can have them coming in sort of across the window, the hint of a big evergreen tree there, or in the background of the scene so you can mix them with cute stamps, or again here's just some very light subtle stamping with them around another focal point stamp. So you can see those are super versatile. Now I promised I'd show you these birds. This is 40-809 Trilling Trio, a great set of brush stroke silhouette type stamps. Now for my cards I was working on these cute little circular tags and um, or like a tag size. I stamped everything with a Desert Storm Storm Memento ink and then painted on top with my watercolors and some gouache paints to get this look. You could also ink these stamps with water soluble ink or markers and lightly spritz them and stamp onto your paper. I would recommend for that you might want to give a try either hot pressed watercolor paper or Bristol smooth cardstock so you can really capture the details of the birds. But if you like a looser look you could also um, really heavily spritz them or watercolor on top like I have done here. But oh, I love these birds because they are so happy looking. <laughs> Next up, we have lots of elegant stamps for the winter time. And again, like I said, all of these stamps, you could use them for your holiday and Christmas cards, but you could also use them for thinking of you, birthday cards, masculine stamping, happy new year cards. If you didn't get to your Christmas cards, just send out happy new year cards or happy winter cards. Here is the Winter Blooms stamp. I love this vase and this full bouquet, but it has that winter feel with some of those kind of pine branches there in the background. So here I've used it just very simply, stamped it with that desert sand memento ink and then watercolored it in. But on this card, I wanted to use just the flowers and not the vase. And this is a great size stamp. Now this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, just to give you an idea of the size of just those flowers alone. So you can use them definitely coming off the edge of your cards if you don't want to use them with the vase or just to get extra use out of them. This is 40-806 Brilliance and a really fun stamp. Now if you want it to have more of a holiday look you could definitely do the berries in like reds and pinks. I wanted more of just a winter look to this so I've kind of done them in some browns and some greens and sort of a vintage sort of looking background and text stamping up in the corner. Here's a look at those with more traditional um, reds. I did add some golden yellows to the berries and I've used them here with the birds so it's a great mix. This is also a great stamp set for just tone on tone stamping so if you've made a scene or a background and it just needs something extra you can do it tone on tone. This is 40-808 Nature's Pennant. I just think this whole stamp design is so unique. I've never seen anything like this with Christmas um, or holiday or winter greens, winter is probably a better word, hanging down um, from the line and I just think it's so elegant and so beautiful. What a great card to send for Happy New Year or just winter or a thank you card after the holidays. This is just a really fun stamp. I stamped it again in Desert Sand Memento ink and then painted it in with my watercolor and mix of gouache paints. This is 40-807 Lovely Landing. Again, another really happy bird. I think that's my new thing. I just love any kind of happy bird. And if it happens to be really cute and chubby like this one, I love it even more. <laughs> so here I have created this card. This whole card is a five by seven card. The painted panel is roughly four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I added those die cut borders on the top and bottom. Now I have to show you these next stamps which are to me are just pure charm and the first is 30-885 never melt away and what I love about these next three stamp sets is I just feel like they totally capture a moment and the moment always has such a happy feeling to it and it even can just tell a story like you can I don't know imagine this like on the pages of a kid's book or imagine it um, happening and just the happiness of it. Like look at these, these um, from skates and spins, those sledders or the skaters or look at the bunny twirling with her 
ear is all twirled up. I can't wait to make a card with that. But they just exude joy. When I'm making cards with them, I just feel happy. And I imagine and hope that the recipient would feel exactly the same to get such a delightful, happy looking card and with a happy stamped image on it. Same with the snowman. This is 30-887 Hug a Snowman. They've got the snowman family there, the bunny running to the snowman. I just had to put a heart in that bunny's hands. You could even use these to create a Valentine card, anniversary card. If you have a winter time anniversary or Valentine, you could put a die cut present in there if you're doing a winter birthday. There's lots of different ways to use these. And then it complete with this charm is this charming little die set. This is 51 710 Frosted Greens. I use them here with this Hug a Snowman um, stamp. I love that he looks like he's ready for a, snow, a hug, but he could also be making like a snow angel too. I think that would be fun to paint him laying in the snow making a snow angel. And finally, the last of these pure charm stamp sets is this Cling Stamp 40-810 Cozy Cuppa. I love this beautiful girl sitting here. She's got her big cup of coffee or hot chocolate and the little bird skating by. How cute is that? What a great way to say hi to somebody in the winter. Maybe send them a gift card um, for coffee and just let them know that you're thinking of them. I hope you enjoyed today's video and a look at the new stamps and dies from Penny Black's Hello Winter collection. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And you can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as Instagram, our website and blog. And all are linked for you down in the YouTube description box. Happy stamping!